In and out is getting a lot of attention after violating local health orders in the Bay Area. First it was San Francisco and now all five locations in Contra Costa County have ended indoor dining rather than require customers to show they're vaccinated before they can eat inside. NBC Bay Area's Tom Jensen is live in Pleasant Hill where one location was shut down altogether before reopening this morning, but it's a partial reopening, right Tom? That's right, Janelle. Only open for outdoor dining, takeout dining, and drive through dining. We've got a music group here, Therape Therapeutic Birds, uh, in showing their support for In and Out right now and against the, the county health orders. And you're seeing a lot of outdoor diners here, but county health officials say that 90% of businesses are in compliance, and In and Out should be in compliance as well. The iconic California restaurant chain known for its good food and service now getting attention for refusal to ask indoor diners to see their vaccination cards. Calls on Twitter to boycott the company are mixed with others applauding in and out. Governor Newsom even weighed in today but sat squarely on the fence in the debate. I encourage everybody to take seriously local health orders and I encourage everybody to support uh, businesses that support this state. Contra Costa County Supervisor John Joya is quite a bit more direct. There's no attempt to single anyone out. In fact, it is in and out that wants the special treatment. The health department has warned and then fined other businesses for violations like this Concord Fuddruckers and two other restaurants. But in and out received multiple warnings and $2,500 in fines before the county finally ordered it to shut down indoor dining. If it were to excuse in and out, it'd have to excuse Burger King, McDonald's, and all those other restaurants that are currently cooperating and following the rules. In fact, the owner of 32 Bay Area McDonald's franchises made the decision last month to stick with only drive through and takeout and avoid the whole vaccination issue. But some customers told us they support in and outs position. I back them 100%, you know. I might even eat dinner here later today. I'm kind of against, like, mandate police. Rallies in support of the chain and against the health orders are planned at two Bay Area in and out locations this weekend. Demonstrations like this one. Uh, we understand that uh, while the California Restaurant Association, the state's largest restaurant lobbying arm, is not taking a stance on this particular debate, its president has taken a similar stance recently in an opinion piece and also making the same statement on their website saying that restaurant employees should not be forced to enforce public health orders like this, especially contentious ones, and force people to show their vaccine cards. They said that the county should supply the funding for security or their own health officers to do that. We're live in Pleasant Hill. Tom Jensen, NBC Bay Area News. Very interesting. Thank you, Tom.